Alrighty, hello everybody. We have um, another HackerBox unboxing here for you today. We have the um, HackerBox number 0040. Uh, the theme for this HackerBox is the Pick of Destiny. Got some nice graphics on this box. So, so let's check it out. Alright, so there's a, let's start with a, with a decal that's in this box. It's a, it's the decal of a die from a PIC microcontroller. So between that decal and the uh, theme of the box, the Pick of Destiny, you can probably guess that we're going to be looking at some PIC microcontrollers. So one of the things that's in this box is a um, little uh, zero insertion force programming target. And uh, you'll notice that it comes with a couple of uh, integrated circuits on it. So if you pop that open, you can take these things off. And uh, I point that out because they are only inserted in there to hold the microcontrollers. They're not, they're not in the position where they go or in, in any way meant to be used that way. So just go ahead and take those out. And, um, and what we have here are two different PIC microcontrollers. Um, just one of them has more I.O. pins than, than the other. And they're um, uh, pretty standard uh, microcontrollers. PICs have become a little less spoken about in the in the age of Arduino, but um, they're still extremely common. You'll uh, find PIC microcontrollers in all sorts of systems, so it's worth learning about how they work. So, so um, in it, to program the PIC microcontroller, you need kind of a programming dongle, um, and here we have the PIC Get 3. And which looks like that. And um, in the box, we also have a, a set of cables that go with the uh, PIC kit. Um, there's a cable, there's a header cable that can go onto the programming header, and there's a mini USB that goes between the uh, PC and the actual PIC kit programming dongle. And um, the, um, the header also connects to the, uh, to the programming target, the ZIF programming target. And then you <clears throat> set the, the uh, jumpers on this board uh, according to which chip you want to use and the placement uh, shown on the back. Um, there's a link in the box guide about how to use that properly. So you can put the integrated circuit you want to program into the programming header and then fire it up and uh, program it through the um, software that talks to the PIC kit programming dongle. So, so that's what we're um, doing with the PIC microcontrollers. We have some... Uh, development tools in the box too. Um, just things that are useful for doing development. You can use them with the uh, the PIC microcontrollers. There's a solderless breadboard and a set of nice preformed jumper wires to, to use that with. Um, and then for the solderless breadboard, there's a power supply that goes with that. And let's just show real quick. We also have a, a little LCD screen that's breadboard friendly. So I just want to show those things together so we can uh, flash up here real quick a, a um, uh, solderless breadboard with that small um, pr uh, power supply on it. So this power supply can be powered uh, with an uh, external source or even with a uh, USB, uh, micro USB uh, interface. And then you can switch between three and five volts on the rail. Uh, we're using 5 volts for everything with these microcontrollers. And this is an example of how you can wire up the PIC microcontroller with the LCD display and power it all through the power board. You can even program power it through the programmer while you're, while you're first debugging it and not use the power supply. But um, these uh, breadboard power supplies are really useful. We, we like those a lot. We also have a bunch of components in the, uh, in the kit to, to be used with, the, uh, with wiring up the microcontroller. And in there, there is... So an interesting thing about the PIC microcontrollers is you can use an internal um, clock source in them. They have a, a default uh, four megahertz oscillator, or you can hook up an external oscillator. So we have a couple external crystal oscillators and the uh, interfacing uh, capacitors for that and some LEDs and resistors and some nice buttons. So um, just to be able to do some basic experiments around the, the PIC microcontroller. And um, also in that little part bag, we have a couple picks to go with our PIC of Destiny theme. Um, these, uh, these picks are really useful. Uh, you may have used them before for popping open um, cell phones or tablets, or um, I think you can use them to play musical instruments too. So they're pretty pretty useful. And the last thing we have in the box this month is a little uh, satellite positioning module. And this is a pretty cool one. It, uh, it can work with, uh, with um, GPS or the other international standards. So the uh, 
Chinese positioning satellite or the Russian satellite system. And um, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, self-contained. It just acquires the satellite, the LED light changes, the info's on the guide. Uh, about how the LED will change when it acquires the satellite and obtains the position and time information, and then it uh, just uh, shoots it out over the serial port. Um, so they're pretty easy to hook up. They're pretty common. Um, we've used a similar module before. This one's just a, a little smaller, a little more integrated, and we hope you can find some cool uses for that. Like like I said, not only uh, positioning, but you can also use it to get a get a very very accurate uh, time information. Um, so this might be fun for making a clock or something. Alrighty, well, I think that's what we have in the box here this month. Thanks for checking it out. Um, we'll have some uh, cool information on the guide, so always go to the, the um, box guide. Go to hackerboxes.com and check out the box guide. Also, uh, like, subscribe, follow uh, here, on, here on YouTube and, uh, on, and check us out on Facebook. And the box guide is, uh, you can link to it on, from hackerboxes.com, but it's on instructables.com. Um, there's a link on, uh, on our Hackerboxes page. So, yeah, keep, uh, keep having fun. Keep making some cool electronics projects and uh, let us know what kind of things you get up to uh, working with picks. It's always fun to have a new microcontroller in your Batman tool belt. Have a great month. Take care, everybody.